still Sparkle in the shadows. Sparkle hands and heels to the line. Sparkle won it. Sparkle by a link. Shock him over. And what you need for Ben Mellon. How impressive was that? What you need has won it well from... Eight lengths down, 100 metres to go, takes the lead, surges clear, two lengths of Puglia, V8, what a nice winner, V8 wins for Apulia, a Murphy, a few... But it's the filly in secret holding on, in secret won the new market, in secret from... Welcome back to the channel everybody, All-Star Mile Day, the fifth running of the race. Ten of the best from Mooney Valley. Couple of stakes races aside from the feature of the All-Star Mile. Quite keen on a couple on this card. Two races where I think are very, very open. In, and two, and they're both a lottery if you get the winner. But um, I think I've found a good chance in each of them. And some things that should just win. And of course, big shout out to the Salmon who's got Crimson Light in it in, in race three. Three, I think it is, in the Mystic Journey. Uh, $23, in my early opinion, is over the odds. But let's get into the preview and find some winners because there's a lot to be found on a cracking 10 race card for the All Star Mile for the fifth running of the race. Race number one at the Valley is a Vobus Gold Comet over the 1,000 metres, and I'm with Midwest. Uh, deep into its campaign now, having its fifth run for the campaign. Game in his last three runs, running second. John Barrier five. Daniel Moore in the center leads or should lead comfortably here. I don't think they'll cross. They'll be able to cross it because it's a very good horse out of the barriers and will jump straight to the lead and prove hard to beat. Two twenty deserves to be a short price favorite. My new my Uno for second. Question is, has he come back well as when he left? Uh, I say he has. Uh, drawn well, Luke Curry in the saddle, I'm very keen to see how this horse goes, only failed in his career once when it was f uh, towards the end of a campaign, last campaign, this is a step first up, can run, away, can run a race for Blake Shin, and Zorro's Dream, if they go too hard in front with the likes of Midwest, Minuma Uno and Sartorial Splendor will be charging home, but Midwest for mine on top of the Vobus Gold Comet, 25 the win to start the day, All-Star Mile Day. Race number two at the Valley, it's a benchmark 79 with Cecil Street Lad. $12 here, I'm quite keen on his chances for Richard Loving and Luke Curry. Uh, booking the senior on for the ride, drawn the four, pretty keen on his chances, had a, has had three starts at the Valley over its past three starts. 888, 955, and now last start stepped up to the 1200 and ran an amazing third uh, in a benchmark 78 behind a red... Hot horse in red hot Nick, and I think coming back in grade to a 70 can prove this horse hard to beat. Uh, loves the distance of 1200 meters, loves the valley, and loves a, a, a good track. Midnight Charm for second, I thought it was a very gallant run behind Kalos last start. Uh, that horse would be a short price favorite in this, so interested to see how Midnight Charm goes, but drawn 13 worries me. Our goddess hasn't done much wrong in its campaign, drawn 11 for Ben Mellon. With the lightweight, it'll go well. And Bluestone Lane for Willie Pike, uh, for Cliff Brown. Interested to see how it goes with the 62 from Barrier 9. But Sizzle Street Lad on top in race 2. I think it's a bit of value, and I'm happy to be on it at the $12. So 10 each way. Race number three at the Valley is the Mystic Journey, named after the first h horse who won the All-Star Mile. Over the 2,040 metres, and I am with Queen Air here. I think it just sets up so well for this horse. First up, looked at Morrill on paper. Duly saluted at Warrnambool. Was very good last start, I thought, in the vanity behind Wollumbi and see what happened. Pappy on club came out and franked that form on the weekend on Saturday in running in the stakes race for the Mayors. I can't remember the name of it, but running well. Drops from last start in the vanity uh, four kilos. Dean in the board, barrier one. It sets up for the horse to run well. Finally, up to the 2,000 metres of distance where it will show its best. Group one placed in the Kennedy Oaks, and I think can uh, bounce back and win here uh, at its third up run. Uh, Crimson Light for the Salmonator here for second. I think it's way over the odds of $23. Almost had it on top, as a matter of fact. Um, I think it was a figure run last night at the Valley. Had no luck from where it was. Somerville beat it easily, but I don't think Somerville is a, should be a raging hot favourite here, and I do think it is under the odds. And Divine Diosa, back to her best form, could win, but I'm going to have 25 the win on Queen Anne, 5 each way, Crimson Light.
Race number four of the Valley is of Obus Gold Reef over the 1600 metres. Belair on top for Ben Malum and Anthony and Sam Friedman. I think it's quite simply the best horse in the race to win. And I think Belair is the best horse in the race. Stakes competitive already in his career. And I think he can go on with it here and be winning at the Valley on Saturday. Um, quite keen to see how it goes. Um... And I think should be winning here for Ben Mellum and the Freemans. Toronto Terrier, the other one that stakes plays for Blake Shin, Wide Barrier. Again, interested to see how it goes uh, first, uh, second up, sorry. Uh, it should prove to run fitter. Russian Dancer hasn't done much wrong in its campaign. It has had market support for Zach Spain and Philip Stokes. And American Liaison for my racehorse team for Joe Bowers and Ma Matthew Ellen should be running well. But Belair on top in the Vobus Gold Reef over the mile. I think he can win. Race number five at Mooney Valley is the Mugger 2 over the 1,600 metres, and I'm with Monomac. I'm finally convinced after how many runs this campaign. Last start, when a bolting in by two lengths, now drops six kilos from the last start effort. Craig knew it back into the saddle, and the form already being Frank with Sparkle winning last week, and it was a good win. Uh, but I think Monomac can go right on with it here and win again. Drawn perfectly, lightweight, good jock on. 240. I think he's at his right price. I, don't, I can't see him getting much shorter, but he's definitely the one to beat from Boisty Argent for uh, Annabelle Neesham, and I don't know the jockey's name. First up, has to be given a chance here. Ran really well in the Rose Hill Gold Cup, running third, spelled back now, and I think has to be given a big chance on class alone. Quality time first up. Under the odds, I think, and Rye is in third up. Should be able to, should be able to show something here for Stucky and the trainer. But I think uh, Munamak is the best uh, in this race and should be proving it here. Thirty the win. Race number six at the Valley. It's a listed Abel Stakes over the twelve hundred meters. And my old mate in the boat. He's back. He loves the Valley. Two from two, three from three at the distance of 1,200 metres, and two from two, tracking distance, Mooney Valley, 1,200. Six from nine on a good surface with three placings. I think he's a moral here and should take a lot of beating for Blake Shin with the 56 kilos um, and should be running really well first up. The one that's had the run out of the belt is dual, very competitive, stake competitive, uh, has the 54 kilos and barrier number four for Dan Moore, the only danger, I thought, uh, to in the boat. Then came Lady of Honor my numbers first up will give be better suited over further and deeper in its campaign that does have Willie Pike with a lightweight and Frankie Pino 1400 would be looking at go but has Matty Lloyd to pilot uh, and I think can run really well here but in the boat and duel the two I think can be fighting at the list at Abel Stakes 20 the win on in the boat 10 the win on duel Race number seven at Mooney Valley, and it's a fifth running of the All-Star Mile. Mystic Journey, Regal Power, Mugger 2, and Zaki, the last four winners. And I think Alligator Blood can stamp his name here as a true champion and an All-Star Mile. He loves a mile. He's only had a handful of runs at the Valley. And look, it could, it's race over as far as I'm concerned. He's the best horse in the race, and he's the best drawn in the race, and he's the best miler in the race. Blake Shin in the saddle, barrier 7, has the 59 kilos, but that shouldn't worry him. Uh, it was a dominant win first up. Go right on with it here. Better suited second up and third up. Loves dry tracks, loves a mile. I think he's the best thing on the day here, um, and I'm happy to be on him. The inevitable for second, I think, is the horse that's way over the odds at $21. It's won its last six in a row in Tassie, and what a story it would be if he could... Um, run into the placings for Scotty Bratton and David Pyers. So I think you can run well. Nugget passed the Group 1 uh, test last start and ran really well. I think he could go all over here with Damon Oliver in the cell. And Alan Queer uh, with the import for Moroni and Geordie Childs to take the ride. I think he can run well. But Alligator Blood on top, 50 the win, 15 the place on the inevitable in a race in the 5th edition of the All-Star Mile. Race number eight at the Valley. It's a group three Typhoon Tracy Stakes. My Bella May. I'm very excited to see this horse here. Now, the Sand Gropers haven't been doing too well since coming over from WA, but I think this filly can really spark up the Valley on Saturday. Don Luciani for Willie and Willie Pike. Five from six. 
only tasted the feet once. It was a massive run that day, drawn 12. It's a matter of the barrier doesn't matter because she's still going to be the best horse in the race. It is, and I think can take a lot of beating here. From Paris Dior, who was the cha main challenger to better data in the England sprint, ran really well in that race. And I think can improve it coming back or going to the valley. Parasol, uh, really good winner. F uh, it's past two and can win again for Craig Newitt. Probably goes, probably will go full with the jockey booking in the barrier. And Cy Thera, another one that was a good run in the English sprint and didn't get a lot of room late and is over the other 26 hours. But my Bella May on top of the group three, Typhoon Tracy, 20 the win for Willie Pike and Don Luciani, the Sand Grapper team. Race number nine at the Valley, Dunkel on top in the group two, Alistair Clark stakes, very confident in his winning chances, six, five from six, he's a very good horse, uh, stakes winner, he's passed two, only been defeated once and arguably should be de uh, undefeated, only tasted defeat uh, where, the way the track was playing on Cranman Cup Day. Harry Coffey re retains the ride, and I think is clearly the one to beat here from Japanese Emperor. The one you want, the one I want to be out of, the one, of, the one I want to be with out of the Guineas. Ran an absolute race of his life in the Guineas. Was a hundred, hundred to one, and he runs third. Great run. Amenable and Bankmore were well beaten behind him, but I still think that they can both run well. But don't kill on top in the Group Two. Alice the Clark stakes fifty the win. I think he's the best horse in the race, and I think it'll prove that way. And race number 10 at the Valley is the Country Mile Series Final over the mile. And I like one here at a bit of value, and I'm going with Daily Bugle. Now, I know he's going to need luck. I know he's going to be back in the field. I know all of that, but from his last run in at Wangaratta, he was a favourite. He ran second, and he was taking good... He was never going to bother the winner in Super Razi, but was taking good ground off her, that horse late. Had the 60 kilos that day, drops down to 55. Craig knew at the settle, in the settle, could even settle closer in the run. I'm interested to see how uh, Craig knew it put where Craig knew it puts the horse because I think he's a massive chance. And at $11, he's over the odds from British Columbia, where uh, Daily Bugle will be back in the field. British Columbia will be right up on the pace for Geordie Charles and can run really well, drops significantly away from its last start run and has drawn seven. A good barrier to be forward in the run from Quay Quay who did beat uh, British Columbia last start. Again, it goes forward for Celine Gordry and Matty Kamani. And Super Razi, the other one, another go forward horse, and did beat Daily Bugle last start. So a lot of horses beating other horses, but Daily Bugle on top in the Country Mile Series final. Hopefully he can be charging at them with some good speed up front. Thank you for watching the preview for All-Star Mile Day. Can't wait for this meeting. Ten of the best from Mooney Valley. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Can't wait to see the races run and won. And go out they got a blood in the All-Star Mall. Can't wait for it. And who do you like this weekend? Let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you next weekend for Group 1 Australian Cup Day back at Flemington. Where hopefully we can back another Group 1 winner. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the preview.